Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, for those of you that are new, my name is Odie and today I'm going to be making some Halloween wall art. Uh, it's been a while since I've sat down and filmed a DIY video, so this is going to be a pretty straightforward DIY just to kind of ease myself back into uh, these types of videos. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to start off with a Halloween related uh, DIY. Uh, so yeah, so I have here a banner. I got to use it last year. I tried to put it up this year, but um, it was all kind of tangled up. I tried to untangle it, but uh, unfortunately some of the sugar skulls did rip. So you know, I thought instead of throwing the whole thing out, maybe I could use some of the skulls that are in better shape for some um, arts and crafts. Uh, so yeah, so that's my plan for today. So yeah, I got my banner. I got uh, a canvas. Uh, I have here some paper flowers that I made, but you can use uh, fake flowers as well. Uh, I have paint brushes, my matte Mod Podge. A whole bunch of gold and silver gems and then of course my glue gun um, so yeah so that's it for these supplies let's get into the tutorial okay so to start I'm just gonna find a skull that is in good shape and I'm gonna be using the black sugar skulls just gonna this out and can I just pull this thread out okay can't pull the thread out so I'm just gonna cut super close oh. so like that it's a little wrinkled up here but it's okay no big deal. Um, I think that's about centered. And I'm just going to open my Mod Podge if I can get it open. Here we go. <laughs> I have very weak hands and can't open anything by myself. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to carefully glue the skull. Uh, well, paper skull onto the canvas like so I'm just gonna let that uh, top part uh, dry a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and uh, glue the rest of it so I will be right back okay so I think this top part is dry enough that I can that it's gonna hold in place and I can just uh, continue gluing this down okay so let's let's see if this works <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to take the end of my brush and just kind of press down like the ends where it's kind of lifting and just press those down just so we don't have um, so we don't have too many air bubbles. Okay, so I think that will do it. So now I'm just gonna let this dry and then we'll do another coat of uh, Mod Podge uh, all, all over the canvas. So it's, um, you know, nice and secure and this thing won't peel off. So, so yeah. Okay, so before I go in with a, another top coat of the Mod Podge, I think I'm just going to take a black marker and then just kind of go over uh, 
um, any creases, just so it looks a little bit more polished. So I'm just gonna give the marker like a minute to dry and then uh, cover this whole thing with some matte uh, Mod Podge. So, so yeah, we'll do that in a minute here. All right, so my canvas is fully dried. This is what it looks like. Um, I do see some bubbles, some creasing, some wrinkles, but I'm gonna try and ignore it. I'm gonna try to overlook it. And we're gonna move on to the fun part, which is decorating our sugar skull. Uh, I'm also gonna try to be chatty in this video you know kind of in the same vein as the chatty get ready with me makeup videos on youtube um because i really i really want to get better at speaking when the camera is on uh when i was editing my little travel vlogs um i was getting really frustrated because i was noticing that i just kind of kept repeating the same sentences in all the videos and yeah, I was like, wow, Odie, can you not think of anything else <laughs> to say? Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to try to have a flow of words that make sense and are somewhat, you know, intriguing, interesting in this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can use some of this footage. Uh, if not, we'll just have to mute everything. But anyways, uh, let's start decorating. So I'm going to take the paper flowers and I'm going to glue them on the eyes. Now this DIY is very similar to one I did I think it was like two years ago uh, for my first Halloween on YouTube. Um, I made a framed floral uh, skull. I'll insert a picture and then I'll also link the video down in the description box if you want to take a look at that one. So yeah, it's the same idea. Uh, this one is just probably uh, a simpler version of that. Um, so yeah, how are you guys? Are you excited for Halloween? Or are you more into fall? I feel like around this time, you have like two types of people. The people that are, you know, all about fall, sweater weather, um, pumpkin spiced stuff uh, and then you have the people who are like all about Halloween um, can you guess can you guess which person I am <laughs> I put up all my Halloween stuff beginning of September like all my Halloween decorations are up right now and I did that uh, beginning of September not the first but I think it was like the third or fourth um, but I just figured why not, you know, uh, Halloween makes me happy. It brings me joy. And I feel like this year we just need to do things that bring a little bit of joy <laughs> into our life. Cause, uh, it, it has been, uh, one hell of a year and, uh, it's, it's not over, not even close. So, so yeah, so I put up all my Halloween decorations I'm actually thinking that I'll be able to do a, what do they call it, like a Halloween uh, house decor tour video. Not that like my decorating is anything special. <laughs> it's really just a random array of decorations uh, just, you know, put all over my house. Um, I've mentioned before that I wish I was the kind of person that could decorate with like a color like a color uh, scheme in mind or a, or a theme. I have really enjoyed uh, watching Halloween uh, home decor videos on YouTube. And it is really uh, aesthetically pleasing when, you know, there's like a theme or a, a color, um, a color scheme to the decorating. I just, 
I just can't commit. <laughs> um, I've tried to go shopping with, you know, a, a theme and scheme in mind, but um, yeah, I just can't commit. So, so yeah, I, I call my decorating style eclectic, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. It won't be anything special, but like I said, I just, I want to do it because I think it'll be fun to uh, kind of capture how my holiday decorating changes through the years. Um, so yeah, but before I do the video, I have some ideas for Halloween decorations that I want to make. And so I want to make the decorations, um, film myself making the decorations, put them up, and then I will... I will do the Halloween decor house tour. Um, so yeah, that's, I think that'll be fun. But yeah, when when do you guys decorate for Halloween? Or do you even bother with uh, Halloween decorations? I'm, I'm guessing that probably October, like October 1st is probably when people start putting Halloween decorations up. Um, which, you know, makes sense, October. Um, but yeah, you guys will have to let me know when you decorate. Um, also, do you have any plans for Halloween this year? My parents um, have hosted a Halloween party for years. They do it at their house and they invite friends, family, and everybody has to dress up and there's lots of food and music and it's, it's so much fun. Um, you know they're they're still planning on having a halloween party this year but uh you know as of right now it's just going to be uh immediate family so my brothers my sister and all the kids um however you know it's subject to change so if anything changes and it has to be canceled then you know it has to be canceled but uh either way even if we don't get to go over to my parents' house, uh, we will, you know, we will celebrate here at home. Uh, I told my husband, even if my son just goes trick or treating from, you know, room to room in the house, that's fine. That's what we will do. Because um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going to happen with trick or treating. If that's even going to happen. Um, or maybe the, the city will come up with like a, you know, like a plan. Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, like I said, if it doesn't happen, we will just celebrate in our home. That's, that's fine. That's just the way it has to be. Um, but yeah, uh, do you guys have any plans or do you do any, like, do you have any traditions that um, you or your family does or your friends do? Uh, during uh, Halloween. I feel like one thing that, you know, we always do is just have like a Halloween movie night. <laughs> so, I mean, before I was a mom, it was like horror movie night. We still have those, but those are just for my husband and I. <laughs> we'll watch, uh, we'll watch horror movies. Um, I don't know that there's anything new out in terms of horror, obviously because of what's going on in the world. Um, oh, there was one movie that I was really looking forward to. It was, what was it called? It was called, it was called Antlers. I think that was what it was called. It was called Antlers. And I'm pretty sure it was being directed by Guillermo del Toro. And I've mentioned before that, uh, I, I really enjoy a lot of his movies. Um, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and pick up the little gems with a tweezer. I'm thinking that might go a little bit faster. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, I think that movie uh, Antlers was being directed by Guillermo del Toro and the trailers looked really good. So I was really looking forward to watching that. But um, yeah, now I'm not sure if that will even ever end up coming out. Um, hopefully, you know, once things improve, you know, that will come out because that looked like a really good movie. Another one that I want to watch is, uh, what is it called? I think it's called Hashtag Alive. And I think it's a zombie movie on Netflix. Um, 
I really, really, really liked Train, was it Train to Busan? It, it was the Korean zombie movie. I loved that movie. I wasn't expecting much, so when I watched it, um, I was really, really impressed. So, you know, who knows? Maybe this hashtag alive movie will also be really good. Um, but yeah, we'll probably end up watching like older horror movies. Yeah, what type of horror movies do you guys like to watch? Or do you even watch horror movies? I know um, there's a lot of people that don't do horror movies. Um, for me, I tend to like uh, horror that is like um, paranormal, you know, like ghost, demons, exorcism. That's the kind of stuff that, uh, that scares me. I'm not into the um, slasher or like super gory type movies like the um, what's one like you know the Texas Chainsaw Massacre um, yeah I don't I don't really care for those movies I prefer the paranormal ones um, which is kind of funny because you would think it would be more scary to watch like a you know psychotic serial killer slasher movie because you know, it's probably more realistic that that could possibly happen uh, or that you could encounter something like that instead of like, you know, ghosts and demons and stuff. But no, I, I those don't scare me. Like I said, scary uh, ghosts and demons, that's, that's what terrifies me. Um, so yeah, I don't know. You guys tell me some, some good scary movies that you have enjoyed. And I'll see if I can uh, I can find them and watch them because that's probably what, I'll, what I will be doing in October is just watching a lot of scary movies. Um, obviously, we're also going to have like, you know, family Halloween movie night because, you know, I got to watch something with my son and my son loves Halloween. He may look like his dad on the outside, but inside he is all me. Um it just, it makes me laugh because I, um, I have like a skeleton Halloween decoration that I got from Michael's, um, when we first moved into the house and, uh, my son, as he started to get older, that kind of became his toy. <laughs> and so it's funny when he's like walking around with like his little skeleton, uh, decoration toy and you know my friends and family come over and they're like wow he really is you because I'm all about Halloween obviously and skulls um so yeah so we will watch scary movies with him but you know obviously more kid friendly um he loves Nightmare Before Christmas that that's his movie he's watched that movie maybe a hundred times already um so much so that I now have no interest in watching that movie because he's just been watching it so much. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll actually sit down and watch that with him. But uh, but yeah, I want to make a list of, you know, kid-friendly uh, Halloween-related movies. Um, I was trying to think of, like, the movies that I like to watch uh, when I was a kid that were kind of, like, scary um, obviously, Hocus Pocus was one of them. Uh, Casper. Um, oh, I used to love watching this show um, called Are You Afraid of the Dark? I don't know if others have heard of it. But, uh, but yeah, I used to love watching that show when I was a kid. Um, I still remember, like, the intro music <laughs> would, uh, you know, it was creepy. And I found some of the episodes on YouTube so I've been putting them on uh, for my son and we have watched some of those together um, I think some of the episodes are a little bit scary so um, if I feel like he's getting too scared I will just turn it off and you know we'll we'll put on Peppa Pig or something um, but some of them yeah he seems to to enjoy so I guess we could watch some episodes of are you afraid of the dark um, but yeah I really need to make a list of scary or not scary but you know Halloween themed uh, movies and shows that uh, we can watch with 
our little guy. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions um, for kids' Halloween movies or shows, uh, let me know down in the comments because, um, yeah, I could use the advice. Um, so yeah, so I feel like I've been talking for a while now. Hopefully, <laughs> I don't feel like I've gotten very far, but um, it's kind of hard to talk and craft at the same time because I don't, I don't really do that when I'm crafting or, you know, making anything. I'm just focused and, you know, not talking. So yeah, I feel like I've kind of been working very slow. So I think I'm going to stop the talking there and maybe do like a speed through of the rest of the skull and, uh, yeah, we will we will call it a night. So yeah, let's let's see if I can speed this up. Ready, set.